The following video is for education and entertainment purposes only. King Kong is owned by Big Jack Films. What's up guys, uh, welcome back to another My Thoughts video. Today we are doing a, my thoughts on a fan film made by a channel that has just recently hit 8,000 subscribers. So, great job. Good job to whoever I'm about to talk about because it's a little reveal. I mean, I'm sure you guys already know though. The channel name is Big Jack Films. He is a con fan and we know it. He reviews like anything from Kong. Here's a little screen recording of me searching him up so you can see what his channel looks like. Ah, there it is. Apparently, he's into Flash Gordon and has a lot of playlists. There it is, Big Jack Films reviews the complete series and movies, which is right on the thumbnail that I'm about to review. He doesn't even just review Kong, he also reviews other movies that he loves such as Jaws, Jurassic Park, and E.T. Oh yeah, there's also a Titanic video. You should watch its review. So this creator named Big Jack Films has made his own fan film in 2016. Well, it was released in 2016, but it took six years to make. No, no, I'm not making that up. Six years to make. He said so. And I know that through all, all of those like acting, shooting, and visual effects, I know that deep down he had to work really hard on it. He had to work very hard on it. I think he did a really good job at it. Now again, while the effects in this movie aren't great, they're certainly pretty good for a fan film. I'm surprised that he would even come up with this idea. It's a really amazing idea. A lot of people have already made their own Kong remakes. All being based on this film. The New York scenes are my favorite. Whenever um, I see a con film, those are my favorite scenes. Anything in New York is the best part, in my opinion. I love monsters rampaging in cities and all the people running. Back in like 2018, I would I would go around like in the, my backyard pretending people were running work from Kong. <laughs> But anyways, back to Big Jack films. He did a really good job with the film, and the actors were pretty good choices. The acting, in my opinion, could have been a bit better, but I, I, I get that, that this might be like their first film to be in, but I will give them credit for some of that. Probably one of the best performances comes out of the guy who plays Jack Driscoll. He gets a little serious at times, even though he never really gets like he doesn't really yell but he's really like i knew it i knew it all along you don't want to save and you just want to risk everyone's neck for a stupid movie you get the point and uh well carl denham is actually a villain this time around unlike the original con movie this um this carl denham is like fred wilson who is the villain of the 76 remake but I think um, Jack borrowed it from the script, either from the 90 script or the 75 script that he talked about in his one of his videos. He did change some things about it, and um, like for one thing, he uploads it to the present day, like the actual present day. The Empire State Building scene was pretty cool to watch. Some of the shots were shot in Toronto, and um, with the big hand putting Anne down. Don't put me down. Don't let me down. And again, as you would have would have expected if you saw the film, that the Empire State Building is a green screen. It's a pretty cool fight with using little miniature helicopters and and even animated helicopters. Even Jack appearing in one of them. I'll take him myself. Cover me. Although he he dies. <laughs> Anyways, the scenes on 
Skull Island are pretty interesting, including the log sequence after um, Khan shakes all the crew members into the pit. He actually includes the lost spider pit sequence. <laughs> Although some of his movie includes stock footage from other things, I wouldn't blame him because I know that in real life he probably couldn't be able to shoot those scenes. He would need a lot more extra. I would get that. If he had to use stock footage from like other recordings, then I would totally get that. While Anne in this movie isn't the best like the others, she, um... <laughs> She does seem like the young person that Khan would fall in love with. I mean, usually in the Khan movies, she'd be the blonde girl, but one thing is that at least we did get Anne Darrow. Jack took a really long time trying to find an actress for Anne Darrow. It was a very long time. He couldn't get one, and then finally, at some point, the girl in the movie signed up to be it, and finally, he got an actor, and everything was all set. So in this movie, he shoots at a lot of different locations, including his, uh, I think it was his grandma's pool. In front of a green screen. Things to climb on when he's climbing the Empire State Building. If you want to see some behind the scenes footage, including bloopers, they are on his channel. Just the viewer discretion is advised on the bloopers though. If you want to see any deleted scenes from the film, you can find them on his channel. But do you know what this movie needs that it doesn't have? A sequel. I want Jack to make a sequel somewhere in his lifetime. Not a sequel like Son of Khan or King Khan Lives. No, I want him to make his own sequel with his own story. I mean, if he does like one of those first drafts, like the new adventures of King Khan, then that's fine. I, I would like to see that, but, but at some point I would really like for him to make a sequel. And I already have an idea of what the opening should be. A recap on him on the Empire State Building in the previous film and uh, him falling off like, you know, like a King Kong Lives thing. And I don't really know if I have any ideas for what he should do for like a sequel besides like the new adventures of King Kong, but otherwise, I think he should do one. It would be a good opportunity for another experience. Maybe they could do a prequel. Maybe they could do a midquel. Well, I don't know, but... If Jack ever comes up with any ideas, I would sure like to see the next film, if he ever makes one. The acting is okay. The scenes with Khan is really interesting, and uh, the suit is okay, but I, I know that's probably like the best suit they can afford, but of course it doesn't really look like a real gorilla. I mean, sure it does look like a gorilla, but it doesn't look like a very realistic one. I remember like Jack saying it in his, uh, one of his reviews of the 1976 remake, which is his favorite film of all time, that, uh, that, um, the Khan's face was very good with facial expressions, and, well, his costume, I'm sorry, Jack, but it just doesn't really show any emotions. I get that. I mean, I, I know you've used different suits. I've seen him open his mouth a few times, and which would be, like, a different suit, but, or a different mask, I don't know, but, again... Even though it might not look like a real gorilla, it's still he still acts like Khan, and he acts like a real gorilla. Jack and I think his name is Brad or something like that, um, both do a good job in portraying him. And I guess that's all I gotta say. I hope he makes a sequel sometime. I sure hope he does. But I don't know if we'll ever get that chance, because he's already experienced it once. I don't know if he wants to go through that all of that stuff again. It'd be really nice to, though. But if he ever watches this review, to you, Jack, can you please make a sequel? If you can't, then that's fine, but I wish you would, please. That's it for my thoughts.